Good afternoon. I'm just on the road into Newton Ards, just above Kiltonga, and uh, flipping heck, uh, told me about this old graveyard. He, he, he probably knows that I'm a sucker for graveyards. Um, this is no Catholic graveyard. But I think it was formerly owned by the Quakers. But uh, I don't even know the name of it or anything else. I'll have to go in and see if I can find a name for it. No church nearby or anything like that. And so at the bottom of this avenue, Definitely a Catholic graveyard with a figure of Mary there. And a crucifix up here. That's how you know the difference between uh, a Protestant graveyard and a Catholic graveyard. In a Catholic graveyard, Jesus is still on the cross. Whereas in a Protestant graveyard, it's an empty cross. Remarkably, remarkably here, there's a little candle burning inside. So somebody must have been up today to light that, at least I would presume so. Now, I've never seen gravestones like this. Never. That one would be pretty old. No names or no dates. Uh, not a very common name for Luna. I just spotted this military grave in here. Rifles. 
Well, a lot of the graves are extremely worn. But there's quite a number of them are, are quite recent. Um, these just appear to be grave markers. And there's no inscription on them. And I don't honestly think that I've come across that before. I'm just uh, looking out of the uh, graveyard and I spotted this tree house. And what in the name of goodness is this? There's two hens in it. But they're stuffed hens or they're ornamental hens. I don't know what this is about. Why would somebody put that up? It's, it's not for a child. Don't know. And this must be one of the oldest headstones that I've found so far. And really, in terms of graves, graveyards, it's not that old. 1856. And this one here. And dead in infancy. No, no date on it. And a statue in the corner with a wee roof over the top of uh, one of the saints, or is it Christ himself? I don't know. One of the saints, I would imagine, looking over the graveyard. Yew trees in the centre. Typical graveyards have big yews like that. I'm very surprised that the uh, graveyard here hasn't got a name, a plaque up. So you'll have to go home and investigate and try and find out the name of this place, tucked away, hidden away here.